Can you use aluminum wire to wire up your 12,000 XP or most other inverters, either by EG4 or another vendor? Let's take a look. So on your DC side, you're going to definitely want to use copper wire. So I am using 4 aught cable connecting it up. But for the AC output, yes, you can use, and I'll put an asterisk, you can use aluminum wire. So as you can see, I am using aluminum. You can see I have my L1 and L2, my hot legs. You can see my neutral, and you can see my ground right there. And I'm using aluminum. You definitely can use aluminum. However, here's what the asterisk is. Aluminum is a little bit different than copper in a few ways. First is the expansion and contraction. It expands with heat quite a bit more than copper does. What does that mean to you? That means over time, it can potentially loosen up. You can get a bad connection. If you go back in time, aluminum wire used to be very common for wiring up a house. They moved away from that and went to copper because copper was safer. The aluminum wire has changed a little bit over time to make it quite a bit safer, but there's definitely some downside and some risks. So what's the downsides? The downside is it is much harder to bend than copper. That's one of the first ones. So if you're trying to bend aluminum wire and get it into your service panel, it is going to be more difficult because just harder to bend. It's not as easy to bend as copper. So just kind of know that it's not as easy to work with. Second thing, it can loosen over time. And this is something that is rather important to know. It can loosen over time. So make sure that initially you, you tighten it to the correct torque value. And then you're going to want to check with any part of your solar setup, the torque over time, I would recommend every six months checking the torque value of all of your connections for your solar setup. But that's part of normal maintenance, in my opinion. So it can loosen up a little bit more than copper does. So once again, tighten it up. If you use aluminum, I would go back a week later and retorque it again, just to ensure that Nothing has changed since you initially tightened it up. Other things to note is with aluminum wire, it can oxidize. So there's a few different compounds that you can put on it. I believe Nolux is one of them, but there's uh, a few different ones that you can put on it. It's basically antioxidating and you can put that on there and it'll essentially ensure that the connection stays good over time. So definitely use that. And the final downside of aluminum is that it cannot carry as much current as copper and it has slightly higher resistance. If you are connecting this, say, on your AC output, you're looking at high voltage. So with that, you're going to have less of a voltage drop than you would, say, a lower voltage system. So you can definitely use it. For your DC side, for your batteries, definitely use copper no matter what. I would not use aluminum. And for your PV input, you can use aluminum. I would recommend against it. I'd recommend going with copper for that. But definitely the load from your inverter to your service panel, you can most definitely use aluminum. It's obviously cheaper. We'll save you a little bit of money. But that's it. Thanks again for watching. Mike's Garage.